Hello, everybody. Good day to you all. Today, I am talking about The Boys, season number four, episode number five, Beware the Jabberwock, my son. In this episode here, it's a very emotional episode because we got the, we got the whole situation going with Huey and his father. And we also got a messed up freaky episode with, 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 um, with Bully Butcher and, and the boys going up against some sheep. So, I mean, and you also got the whole twisted messed up episode. It started off kind of nice, sort of, in a way, but then it went down a very dark path. But Ryan. With um, Homelander and Ryan, yeah, and then we got the whole expo going on. With that, that's just messed up all the all the all the way through. That's just already messed up. You got the whole with the propaganda stuff they put in there and the stuff they turn into. Like, oh my god, it's, it's, it's pretty much making fun of the whole uh, uh, um with Disney Plus, Disney Plus and all that stuff like that as well. And Disney, yeah, with the whole phases, all, all their phases and everything, and the reshoots of the reshoots of over reshoots with the like, like Jesus Christ, like, like oh, and so. Which gave you a little bit more lightness to it as, as well. So we had we had Billy Butcher, who's probably because it was his, his disease and and also exposed to the compound V and 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 and, and temp V, he's he's insane now. Now, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays Kessler on the show, I think he's not real. I mean, I could be wrong on this. I could be butt wrong on this, but I think he's not there. He's a figment of a, a butcher's imagination, and he butcher is going through right now. He's dying, and his brain is firing situations, and he's battling between his two his two selves. He had his wife appear to him before, which is mostly his good half, and and, and this guy right here, probably somebody he knew in the past. He probably he, he probably did exist. He might be dead, because he never said his name to anybody before, and I, I wonder how anybody responded and said, "You speak to who? Kessler." He died, buddy. He died. And then we know for sure. He could be a ghost. I don't know. He wasn't supernatural. So we'll see what we'll see where that goes. And we have um Starlight. She's dealing with the stuff she's going through right now. Her, like her reputation is ruined right now. And she she doesn't know how to get out of it. She, she's lashing out. Even though she's getting people who two pounds deserve it, she she, she she still has to control that as, as well. Everything she's built has just been, been destroyed. And now her power, she can't rely on them either as well. She, she's going through that. You got Frenchie. All his past is his pain is coming back to him now. All, all the drugs and the alcohol, he keeps, no matter what he, said, what he snorts and shoot ups and whatever he's trying to do, it's not making it go away this time. And the, and the thing with, um, with, his, with, his, with his boyfriend was, was the last and final straw. You know, the guilt is just weighing it on him. He doesn't know what to do. You see what he does in this episode right here, which is, I don't see, the thing is, though, what he did was actually the right thing, but at the, at the, at the same time, it wasn't at the right time. He did with that here. Like, just, should he have kept it to himself? Should he, should he tell, should he, should he tell Kamiko what's going on? Or tell the, the rest of the boys how he's feeling? Would that have helped? I, I don't know. Well, I don't think Billy, Billy would have, a Butcher would have given him a good, any good advice, and I don't, Mother's milk couldn't handle that situation right now. I don't know. And Kimiko, she done, she done, she's done with herself with her past as well, too. And things, things she has done. Ugh. I don't, I don't know. I mean, what he did was right. Yes. But she should he have done it at this time? Maybe not. I mean, the boys are... The, the team and the boys has been taking a lot of L's this time. And they haven't gotten a lot of wins. Not, not really at all. And, and, and Butcher, even though what he's doing... It's for the greater good, but the way he's going about it is just messed up as well, too. As well. Yeah. And then we have what's going on with Homelander. Homelander just realized that he's been manipulated his whole entire life. He's been controlled his whole entire life. And he's now he's now he's passing down that that those problems on to his son. And he said, No, I, I don't want to do this with my son. If my son doesn't want to do this, I'm not gonna make him do this. He doesn't want to dress up and fly around like an idiot. I'm not gonna make him do that either. I've been pretending to help people. I'm not going to make them do that. Because that's what I was forced to do. And you think to yourself, okay, Homelander is turning things around. Yes, he's he actually being a good father. But at the same time, you realize that this is Homelander. This dude is messed up beyond, beyond, beyond repair. You cannot fix him. He's done. And, and seeing him, in a way, encouraging Ryan to be himself, but also manipulating him at the same time as well, too. I don't think he's meaning to do this, but... He feels as though he's helping his son be his true self. And that true self is very, very dark. Also, you have Sister Sage on here. She knows A-Train did it. She, she knows for sure she A-Train did it. 
at the same time, she also realized she may, she may be losing control of Homelander. Because she tried to talk to him earlier, he just ignored her completely. And, and me, if, being, if I was the smartest person in, in, in the world, I would leave. Because he felt as though he's beyond his emotions right now. He, he, he doesn't care about people loving him anymore. See, that's I, I the one thing that was kind of keeping him human. The desperate need for people to love him. But now that that's gone... He doesn't need that anymore. He doesn't feel like I don't need your I don't need your love. I don't need your affection. I don't care if you love me. I'm above you. I'm above those petty things. I'm a god. And I should act like one. Gods don't care if you love them. I'll just kill all of y'all and call it a day. I can make them real in my image and make it how I want it to be. And that's what he's doing right now. And that's scary. Ashley. Well, she's not doing well. She lost She lost her sub. Yeah, so now the thing is, though, that's the only thing she had control over. A-Train is trying to survive now. He's in too deep. He can't just leave. And he, he can't can't stay either. He's just trying to survive, and he's watching everything around him like, go down to the toilet. And he and he, and he he's just trying his best not to flush go to, go down with it. And Homelander is a psycho, and he's trying not to just trying not to die. He wants to be the hero deep down, and he's struggling with that. Even when he did his, his presentation for that for that movie that he hates, you saw you felt the struggle of him even saying how you felt how he's proud of this film. Like like, like Jesus Christ, right, ugh, ugh. I kind of feel sorry for him. Even all the messed up things he has done, I had to show him for I feel, I, feel, I feel sorry for him. But at the same time, it's all his fault. He could left a long time ago. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Starlight left. He could have left too. He had plenty of opportunities to do the right thing. And he kept doing the wrong thing. So now he put himself in a, in a situation where he can't just leave. And then we had the, the, the saddest thing in this episode up here of all but also, it has some happiness in it as well, too. Huey, his dad, and his mom. Huey wanted to give his father his compound B so he could have, so he could have, to have his father back. But he realized that was just messed up and that's wrong. That's just selfish on his part. It's keeping his, keeping his father like that. Even when his father told him that story, Huey realized that. Even learned, he learned before he even did it. I said, yeah, you're right. I understand why you gave my mom power of attorney. I would have held on. and I would have tried to keep you as long as possible. But then having to put his father down after his father went off the rails was really messed up. But, but him having the strength to do that shows his growth in, as, as a person as, as well, too. It was sad. It was something that had to be done, but he but he managed to step up, step up to his plate. It's so interesting how you see how fathers are being betrayed in this, in this, in this show so far. You have Mother's Milk with his relationship he has with his daughter. Trying to be the example, but not to fall in his footsteps as, as, as well. You got a, a Homelander dealing with his son. Like everybody wants to do the right thing for their children. Even um, Newman, the, the, the sacrifice, the thing she's doing for her daughter as as well. The relationship she has with um, with um, Stan Egger, her like in a way not biological, but like, in a way as her father. How they, how they deal with one another is it's well very interesting. Well, great episode. Really didn't enjoy it a whole lot. Now there's certain things about this episode that I thought was kind of weird. Like, I, I, how did um Butcher get um Samir away from everybody and then, and then chop his leg off? How how, how did he find a tool to show him to chop his leg off so he could so he could and then place the place his leg somewhere so they can find it? Like, how did they? When, when, did, when did he do that? When he had the time to do that? Like, how did that even make that? How did that even make any sense? I don't know, but that, okay, it happens. So I just, you just got to go with it. Some people say, now, I knew a lot of some people were going to die in this episode because of the sheep and everything. But the way this, the way this one woman, the, even though she was like a this background, how she died was just very dumb. I just, I just, everybody's running this way to the barn, and she decided to run over, jump over the fence, and jump in the air. Like, I just, why would you do that? I just, I mean, okay. I mean, it's, it's one thing. It, it, it'd be better if she, if she was running and the sheep just got her. 
But this, is the, the, but the run in the opposite direction. Okay, I, I, I thought it was kind of stupid, but whatever. Okay, sure. But other than that, great episode. I had, I had, I had, a, I had a, even though it messed, messed up as much, I'm, en- I'm enjoying this show. Like, uh, I'm not sure how this thing's gonna wrap up, but also the nice to see the, the, the other, 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 other characters from from Gen V in here as well too. What part they gonna be playing in here? I don't know. And then she have her, did, did she get her um, and then um. I got to think of that. Did she get her arm back? Did her arm grow back or something? Cause I, I looked like she had both her arms. Was it is, it? is it mechanical? Is it biological? Like what? What did they do? But oh well. Either way, it's good. It's good to see him on the show. Having both of these girls connect was also fun. To, fun to watch. So great episode. So leave leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of um the boys. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you're watching, you will enjoy having watched it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below. Next to my social media, you want to follow me there. Also to my store, my store thing, my shirts and socks, everything else and whatnot. See some, see some stuff, bottom stuff, I really would appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.